Hey guys, how you doing? This is Mango Etc and I'm here today to bring you the review for One Piece episode 976. And now, if memory is serving me correctly, everything that happens within this episode, well the flashback stuff anyway, more so to say the Denjiro stuff and the little tease for the snitch, these things happen when they are revealed to us, revealed to us later on, if remember, like again, I said, if memory is serving me correctly, and they don't happen within this, within this um, flashback. And now, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just something that's different. Well, I guess down the line, it can move things forward a bit more quickly. I guess, but it is what it is. So what did what did um Denjiro stuff? It really did hit home, especially that bit where he's in this in the house and he's just shattered basically and he's just mashing up that house yeah i could feel for him there and then as i was watching the episode and i was like wait doesn't this happen later on i'm start, i just started to think to myself is this better or for worse and at the end of the day i decided you know it's take it as it is really i don't feel like us finding out now is any different to us finding out later on when he does reveal himself. I don't think you know it takes away anything. It doesn't gain everything, anything either. I was just each to your own on that one. So I didn't mind that when you no, know, as I was watching the episode, as I was thinking through it, I was like, I didn't, re- I didn't really mind. There, wherever, where for of with the snitch stuff. Where you have Orochi teasing the snitch, I was like, "Ooh, are they gonna reveal the identity now?" And I feel like if they had, then that possibly, yeah, I feel I feel like that could have been a bad move because I feel like when it is revealed, you should be sharing your your we should be sharing our reaction. With the rest of the nine when they find out as well so other than that i don't have anything more to say about the episode i do feel like they um was reaching for the end of the episode where they gave us the very nice recap of when you know kojiro fell from the sky then he went to punk hazard and then etc etc you know the story by now um but I guess they just had to stretch out the episode so they can finish the episode off at a certain point. So come next episode, we're back to present day where things will be cracking again. Uh, the same thing I've got to say about this episode. We are finally done with the Odin flashback, which was a great flashback. Not gonna lie though. With all the hype. And now the reason why I call it hype is because... There was like an article or tweet or something, whatever, something was out there saying, yeah, we're going to put, um, we're going to extend the Odin flashback in XYZ, in XYZ way. One, it just said we're going to extend the Odin flashback, really. But I feel like because they had the need to announce it, then that just made it seem like we're going to get something more than what we got. I feel like, because they extend things anyway, like, what, this whole arc has been an extension, and just by default, the anime extends things anyway, I feel like the amount of extension we got within this flashback didn't need an announcement, because I feel like it was just standard additions, if you get what I'm trying to say. I was expecting (laughs) way much more. The kind of because they announced it, I was expecting full a full blown white beard versus Roger Pirates, not that little teaser we got. But yeah, that's the only thing I've got to say about this episode and the flashback overall. Three star rating, like always, guys. I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. But most importantly, take care. Have a nice day.